Hey, what's up, guys? Gotta let you know about this tournament series I got going on with a friend of mine, Caboose. Big time YouTuber. Make sure you guys go check him out. We're running a Mortal Kombat 11 tournament series. It's gonna run eight weeks long, and it's gonna be absolutely insane. It's titled Champions of the Realm. It's starting Wednesday, September 2nd, 6 p.m. Eastern time zone. Gonna be going down live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash destroyfgc. Listen, it is very important you guys come through, check out the tournament live on the Twitch channel because it's going to be absolutely insane. I'd greatly appreciate it to see you guys in the chat live and just hanging out with me and, you know, spewing all the toto teta leche all over the place. Like I said, September 2nd, 6 p.m. Eastern time zone. That falls on a Wednesday. It's going to be live on twitch.tv slash destroyfgc. Week one qualifier of Champions of the Realm. If you guys want to sign up for it, this is the page you want to check out smash that gg slash c o t r i'm gonna have a links in the description below so you can get yourself signed up all i ask is that you are a north american native region and uh you have a wired connection that way you know these competitors competing online don't have to suffer with lag and lag spikes and all that shit people hate an online tournament also if you guys want to contribute to the tournament prize pool we are currently getting a thousand dollar pot bonus provided by console gaming league and if you guys want to add into that i'm gonna have links in the description below it's gonna say donate to prize pool donate to tournament prize pool here and then i'll link it right there and again i want to say thank you so much everybody again guys thank you so much i know that was a lot to say but make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and enjoy the video Oh my god. Aztec versus Phoenix. We got another Scorpion. Back to back Scorpions coming in. By the way, thank you so much for the bits and the follows and all that stuff, man. I really appreciate it. Let's get it on. Let's get it. Wait, is he using the kitty cat variation? Oh shit. On a minute. Alright, here we go. Aztec facing off against Phoenix. Oh, immediate with, immediately with that like that Jaguar dive. There's another teleport there, nice. Whoa, he showed him he got the parries on lockdown, so he better be careful pushing a button. Cause the Ooh. next button he pushes could potentially be a parry. Escape failed. Total does have the two crushing blow throws there. That throw's gonna do extra damage now with the burning spear, 17%, man, that is so solid. Ooh. Oh, nice little short hop. Oh, that's gonna be big. Oh my god, Destroyer. We're already starting things off in this game with the armor breaking into the crush. Yeah, into the, the crush, hell? 40%. Where the hell did that damage come from, dude? Portal Not Khan, he didn't even need the totems to catch that. Ridiculous. Round you gotta be two. so careful. I love the armor breaking stuff, man. I love the whole dynamic change like this. It's a huge shift in the way this game is played now and the way you gotta utilize that defensive meter way more strategically. Oh, 100%. If, if you break her and then these guys catch you with the massive mega combo, you're fucked. Oh, oh my god. My I didn't goodness. even know he had that loaded. Yep, he got the escape fail there in the first round. But okay, there's a wake up now. Phoenix going to try and just wake up in general in this game. Is he going to be able to pull this off with the forward throw now? To the four threes. Whoa, gets whiff on it. Big time. Another it. armor breaker. 23% into the unblockable Emperor Ooh. Aztec is abusing your boy Phoenix right now. Oh, oh short hop. And he's oh, gonna burn no. him alive in the corner with a down to conversion. Holy shit! No. What was that conversion with the sun on the screen? Oh, the thick thighs. They save lives. Bro, did I not tell Destroyed. you? Did I not call it though? That was insane. Did I not tell you this guy's quote was ridiculous? That was some nutty tech. He gets the game finished off of that cross-up attempt from Phoenix by praising the sun. Goes for the down two and converts the combo to finish. Are you are you kidding me right now? Are you, I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving right now. I'm leaving. I'm getting off. I don't want to be here anymore, Destroy. <laughs> Why have you done this to me? All I'm saying, bro, is that if Emperor Aztec puts you between his fucking thighs, yeah, you're done. He's going to fucking explode your head.
<laughs> Let's get right back into this <laughs> next this next match. You know, Emperor Aztec really giving crazy. yo, he gave Phoenix a hard time there. I think Phoenix went ahead and changed variations, probably. I'm not too sure. Yeah, he went to reborn. Yeah, yeah he, he was on steering range. Let's see what he's got here. Got to be careful with this giant mid from Koro Khan. The 1-1-1 one, one, one special. He's going to knock him out of the air. No conversion, though. That was some lucky stuff there for Aztec. Good grab. Oh! Nice. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, that's crush. Yep. Big damage. Big damage. Oh, my goodness. A lot of combo potential here from Phoenix, but he's just killing him by little, little tiny hits here. Oh, escape that's film? an escape film, dude. Oh, that's man. solid. If, if anything that he loses that round with, he still gets the escape fill and has the crushing blow ready. 100%. I, 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 I'd say I'm okay with losing the round if that's if that's a trade-off, you know? Cur Kerbo is not in this tournament, but if you guys want to sign up, uh, sign up for week three is open. Exclamation point sign up in the chat if you guys want to get involved in this tournament. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, exclamation point sign up if you want to sign up in the chat. Nah, you just missed the, the craziest hitbox i ever seen in my entire life. Oh. I don't even know how to explain what just happened. It went perfect when I announced the sign up three, though, so that, that, was, that was good. <laughs> he was like, Whoa. oh. I know, yeah. <laughs> Lined up perfectly with what you were saying. Holy cow, he's gonna get the grab. Putting him in the corner. Oh, no! that's crushing blow. I didn't know he had that. Me Hold neither, on. dude. Oh, he's gonna Yahabak and Cat out of the corner. Oh, this, this is dangerous. Major, this is a scary, scary position. Yeah, this is a danger now. zone. Oh my god. Four throw. Destroyer. No, my heart, my heart's beating. My heart's beating. I'm scared. Oh, oh my god, it's teleport! Immediately, and that's gonna be the game. Phoenix! Phoenix has awoken. The Phoenix has risen. Wow, man, this is back and forth so far. I mean, that last yep. game could have went either way. Emperor Aztec literally had him clinging for dear life. Yeah, He's going to close it out there. Very good stuff. Going on to this next game, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be a crazy one. Scorpion. Wow, sticking with yeah, the with the Koto Khan. You, you hyped it up, and I mean, I, I say it's living up to the hype so far. We're already tied 1-1, and both matches have been ridiculous. Both matches have been nuts. All right. Get it on. This guy sticking with the kitty cat variation of Koto Khan. I mean... I, I haven't really seen anybody going ham with this variation. I feel people do use this variation for counter pick scenarios. But watching Ember Aztec go at it with Scorpion? With Kitty Cat Koro? This is uh, quite quite a surprise. Yeah. Koro is, is a really entertaining character to watch play at a high level, dude. For sure. This is a really fun character to watch. Oh, that's an interruption. Nicely done. Good awareness there from Phoenix, but he's not able to convert the combo. And because of the drop, he gets punished off of the wake up. Nice tech. Okay. Aztec doing really well here. Praising the fuck. Oh, what? Whoa, this is oh a big God, wager dude. now if you're Phoenix. This guy's literally at, at, at life alert here. He needs to be very careful. I mean, smart way to survive the praise oh of the sun, but God, man, dude, you are banking everything on this. Hold on. Is he going to be able to make this comeback? Oh, oh no, the trade. I don't know. I don't know if that was the right decision, man. I don't know if it was close enough for him to want to utilize that that resource. Oh, gets caught now. Big damage there from Aztec. Oh, gets caught, and there's the Panther or the Jaguar. I don't know what. It, what is it? Oh, uh, it's the Kitty Cat. The Kitty Cat. Yeah, okay. Confirm, confirm. Nice sweep. The short hop. Oh, he's getting some beautiful damage here. And for Aztec, though, man, this guy has a, a pretty good life lead here. 
I mean, Phoenix, this would be two rounds in a row. Phoenix tries to make a, a, a monumental comeback. Oh, Ooh, nice tech. tech. Woo, teleporting away from the cat. That's it. Brutal? Brutalizer? Oh, no, no brutalizer. I don't even know if he has a brutality there. I was just assuming. I was just assuming. Okay. Big game there now for Aztec. Praising the sun. Going up two to one now in this set. Another really intense back and forth there. And again, honestly, I, I'm not entirely sure if I agree. I mean, although it didn't really matter in the end, I'm not entirely sure I agree with the decision making in that first round from Phoenix to have gone for the Fatal Blow. I like the idea of surviving the Praise the Sun by going into the Fatal Blow, but there just was too much of a life deficit for him to spend a resource like that. You know, I, I, I mean, yeah. he almost made the comeback. He almost made the comeback. But it just, I don't know, it just wasn't enough. I, I think agree. He needed, he needed to chip away a little more life off of Aztec before he would have gone for a, for a ballsy move like that. But either way, we're going into a game four now. Phoenix, hopefully going to try and pick himself back up and potentially send this to a game five. Yeah, and after this match, man, we're going to be going into the matches that are going to be setting up our top eight for Saturday. So that is going to oh, be man. very juicy. Oh, man. That is when shit starts hitting the fan. Getting right back into it, though. Phoenix... The Reborn Scorpion, this guy down 2-1. He's going to have to play out of his mind here if he wants to stay in this set. Stay in this tournament. Actually, no, he still has a loser side, so I'm, I'm jumping the ship a little too much. <laughs> He's still going to be in this if he loses. Ooh. Nice. Good counter. A lot of four. forward three fours, man. If this guy was going up against D7X, let me tell you, <laughs> he would have been in trouble. Ooh, flawless block, okay. Nice short hop. Aztec has been really consistent with those. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, good trade. Oh, and an input error, I believe, there on Phoenix's end. And he breaks away. I know he didn't mean to do that. And he gets caught by the unblockable now. Oh, the short hop whiffs, and that's oh going to be a punish gosh. into is the fatal. I don't think so. I don't know. Scorpion's fatal blow is weird. It doesn't do too much damage into combos, but let's see if that last bit is going to be enough. No, it's not. It is not. Oh, but, oh my God. He oh, goes teleport. for the YOLO teleport. That was very necessary, though. I mean, if Averick lost that round, dude, that would have just been all the chips down the drain with nothing to show for it. Yeah, so I think there it's the guaranteed shift because, uh, although actually, no, it's Phoenix. I don't know, honestly, that was that was risky, but he made it work. He made it work with that teleport. Okay, very good down two. Oh, this is gonna hurt. He, what the hell was that? He had no defensive bar. Yeah. It's just like, he fell asleep there. That was a little weird. Back throw now. Adrian. You Adrian. What it is. Oh, wow. Look at these flawless blocks. I love the utilization of the tech there. Very Doesn't good. to spend the meter. Very good stuff here. The escape Ooh, failed. Escape Next failed. grab could be comeback potential for Aztec. Holy shit. Wait a second. Big damage here. Big damage. Huge comeback now from Aztec. But he's got to close out this round because it's not going to be it. It's not going to be enough. He hit him. He said, you don't get box. Wow. Wow, he goes for the praise of the sun and it works. Destroyer. Full fatal blow spent on both sides now. You that resort is gone. You don't impress me. <laughs> In the corner. Oh, he's going to still convert this kind of scuffed combo. Good stuff there for Phoenix. Gets the forward throw now. Working on an almost flawless round. Wake up. Wake up. Smacked him in the face with a counter. Good punish. Block. Oh no. He's not gonna punish that. Dude, this is such thing. this is the most back and forth match I've ever seen. These guys off of their fatal blow resources just swinging at each other right now. And for Aztec, he said, Taste the blade of Aztec. Oh my that god! Unblockable. Oh no. no! This hurts. He's lost the defensive meter too off of spending it on that wake up. This is gonna hurt. Big time, 40%. Damage over time, gonna send it to above 45. He's not gonna be finished though, but he does get finished off the jump three. Phoenix going up 
two or no, sorry, tying it now and sending it to a game farm. You literally called this. You literally <laughs> called this. Somebody, somebody tell this man he's a prophet because <laughs> look. Yo, I, I, I could call. You I could give call, me the lotto numbers. I could, I could call. I could call game fives all day, but you know, I ain't trying to be here for fucking twelve hours. Yo, you try, You know what I'm saying? You trying the to next, give me the lotto the, numbers after that one, bro? The top eight, though, I'll tell you right now. The top eight is gonna take a, a, at least twenty four days. <laughs> it's gonna, Holy smokes! The man. top eight. The top eight on Saturday is gonna be uh, timeouts every round. <laughs> Game five, every single game, timeout, every single round. <laughs> I'll be 40 years old. Mortal Kombat 16 will be coming out, and we're still in our same top eight. <laughs> yeah, people are going to be like, Caboose, you want to commentate? No. I'm never <laughs> commentating a tournament yeah. ever again. <laughs> After that last Destroyer Chronica tournament, I'm done. I'm yelling so much. I'm, I'm in vocal surgery while I'm still trying to commentate. <laughs> it's going to be called the... Uh, the, the tournament of time. <laughs> Fucking Chronica's commentating it. It's a new era. <laughs> Yo, this guy's nuts. This guy's fucking. Oh! He thought the grab was coming and instead he opened him up with the twinkle toes. A little bit of lag spike, I like it. That, uh, is that. You said twinkle toes. You, you watch a little bit of Avatar? Is that a character? It's just a, some, a character calls somebody that a lot. Oh, I used to watch what? Avatar. I, yeah, I, I mean, I, but dude, I'm, my my memory is shit. I forgot Avatar. All I remember is that when he got pissed, he got pissed. <laughs> when the dude got pissed, when Aang got pissed, he, he got was fucking pissed. pissed. Round two. And I remember the uh, yeah, I don't even remember his flying animal's name. Opa. Appa, what? yeah. Wolf on Gundam style, what was Appa, it? Yeah, Wolf. <laughs> That's crazy. But okay, Phoenix now making a bit of a comeback. He's got one round, actually. He's on max point here. Oh, nice short hop, though. From Aztec. Oh, they say Aang is Twinkle Toes. Okay, okay. I'm going to have to rewatch the, the Avatar series. Bit, of, bit is... of a connection. Bit of a connection. Oh, yeah. What's issue. going on here, bro? Who's downloading the triple XL <laughs> porn in the background right now? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Somebody's going out of hand. Aztec's got to make a comeback. Okay, he's going to start to work on it now. Nicely done. 24% combo there. Oh, oh that throw gets tech. Oh, man. That's so dangerous. Big on it. Could have gone for the uh, armor breaking destroyer. He could have gone for it. Oh, he went for the unblockable, and he's going to get stuck into the Fatal Blow. Phoenix closing it out. Now, that is the set, and it goes to Phoenix. Really good stuff. He was ready for it, dude. He was ready for it. Wow. I cannot believe it. And, you know, the way Aztec was playing this matchup in the beginning, it, it, it really looked like it was going to go in Aztec's direction. Yeah. But, wow, Phoenix yeah. really turning things around here, really shifting the tides of battle. You're gonna take it 3-2 over Aztec, advancing to the winner's final of his pool to face off again.